Yeah, a lot right? of weather to get to you. We've got some severe weather out there right now. Some nasty thunderstorms pushing across the area. You can see the ceiling lowered. We had some strong wind gusts ahead of the push of rain, and that's been the case where there were some tree limbs down in some locations. We've had some localized flooding problems, so let's get to it. Live radar lit up from, again, mid and upper Hudson Valley through the city down into portions of New Jersey. We'll zoom into the city right now. And again, until about uh, 4.15, which means just about ended, we did have a severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect, but we now have a flash flood warning in effect until 6.15. That's for Brooklyn, Nassau, Manhattan, and Queens as well because of these heavy downpours flooding the roadways. Moving off at about 25 miles an hour to the north and east might be a little bit of a saving grace, so the flooding hopefully won't be too bad. Further south we go, though, into New Jersey. Still seeing a lot of lightning here. That's why you got to stay indoors. One strike of lightning can be dangerous. Severe thunderstorm warning until 4.30, Monmouth and Ocean County. So if you're along the Garden State, Route 9, those areas, and up along the Jersey Shore, if you can get off the road for a little bit and let this pass through, and it will in about 15 minutes to a half hour, things will improve. Number of lightning strikes, about 104 in the last few minutes, so that gives an indication of just how much activity there is coming out of those particular cells. Now, closer to home, Notice the heaviest line right there. It's east of the city already. We're kind of on the, the back edge of this area of nasty weather. Lighter rain now. And I think after that, things are going to quiet on down. So this was a fast mover. Like I said, saving grace. Moving out towards Long Island now. Portions of Connecticut. That's where the weather's going to get rough. But we look to the west, and it does seem to be drying out. We're going to keep a careful eye on this little trailing line of storms. Mainly, I think, into Ocean County and Monmouth County in New Jersey. Overall, we still officially have a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. throughout the entire viewing area. That may change as things evolve a little bit faster. So the severe weather risk that we we're looking at through 8 o'clock tonight, again, some hail in spots. We've had some reports, nothing too significant. High winds, that's been the major issue, and again, some localized flooding. But as I pointed out, these storms are progressing and moving eastward at a pretty steady clip. So once we get towards 6 o'clock, most of the activity is east of the city. And then once we get to about 7, 8 o'clock, it's pretty much clearing the entire viewing area. And that's some good news. Setting the stage for a nice-looking day tomorrow, but... <clears throat> We're turning up the heat. Jet stream lifts to the north. That Bermuda high bills in a heat pump, and there's been a lot of heat. It's been making headlines out to the west. That's going to push in our direction as we go into the rest of the week. So the heat index, what it's going to feel like tomorrow, low 90s. 100 or higher is what it's going to feel like Thursday and Friday, upper 90s on Saturday. Actual air temperatures, that's going to be painful enough. So once we get past the storms in the next couple of hours, tomorrow just hazy and muggy, close to 90. 93 Thursday, 96 Friday, low 90 Saturday. Watch for storms late. And then actually some nice relief for the latter half of the weekend and into the start of next week. But we just got to hunker down, I think, guys, for the next couple of hours, and then things will improve through the evening.